Hello guys, tonight uh, we are gonna do a special unboxing day. Um, I always wanted to buy this device to just to test out some servers, also media, but in this case I'm gonna use it for now for retro gaming. Something that right now it's been the top thing to do if you want to have something in your house or a mini console that will work from all the way from Atari all the way to uh, PlayStation 1. Uh, in this case it doesn't take PS2, PS3 or other big graphics um, equipment obviously because the limitations of the board I have. So in this case I start with the unboxing and then we're gonna start with the Raspberry Pi 4. I got the Model 4 Model B. This is the 8 GB RAM. You don't need 8 GB. 8 GB of RAM to be honest to make it work with the 4 GB you're good. But I always like to have the a little bit more just for the future. In this case this is the unboxing of it. This is the board. Some Raspberry Pi safety and user guide. And as well instruction on how to handle it, not to touch the board, stuff like that. Perfect. That's one thing. Uh, with this, you need a power supply. It has to be one dedicated for the Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry Pi is only 5 volts. It had nothing more, nothing less. It's the only one that will work for it and it won't burn your board. And it's dedicated for this. So I got this one here. It has a USB C to USB 2.1 mini usb micro usb so i grab the original one doesn't have one feature that i love about this this one is that you need one with a switch because then you should if you get a regular one the one that had they have in the same people from raspberry have one that doesn't have the switch and every time you have to turn it off you have to unplug it so in this case you only do this and it's turn off or turn on so it's better it's a better way to to control and have more accessibility behind the equipment so it's here you don't have to go all the way down and unplug this one now the one thing that i love the most it will be the type of mount there's many many different ones that you can use for me i always want traditional ones and i like the nintendo version one i like this hardware a lot when i was a kid and this is something that it looks super good in, in my eyes i haven't seen it i haven't opened it yet let's see how it looks i hope the quality is good so you have the cartridge here i heard that you have put the hard drive ssd drive here uh you put it there then after that you can plug it in and you can have your images and stuff like that okay the box the so nest pi 4 case with the ssd case compatible with raspberry pi 4 only there's one for raspberry 3 pi 3 but who's buying that right now but if you have a 3 then you can you have to see have the one that has that is compatible with your pi 3. okay let's see here Ooh nice i like it the way it looks oh it has, even has this this is for micro sd storage oh that, i like that lan usb-c the other ports i guess they are this ones here yep so it, i think it goes like this micro sd card here to usb oh the part that i want to see oh yep pretty cool so here you put your ssd drive so I guess I got this one. I don't know if it goes this way or the other way. I have to check first and then you put it in. Boom, and that's your for everything, for your images all around. So we'll see. When I see the instructor, if it's this or the other way, we'll check. Here you can see inside, see the board where you put that in for the hard drive. The quality, super, super good. Super amazing. I'm super impressed with it. Oh my God! Wow! Can't believe how good it looks. So let's see. Open it up. Here's the USB. Okay, it came with this. Cool. It came with the two fans and heat sinks. Please remove the SD card before installing the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, mine doesn't have anything there, so it's here. Pretty cool right now, what I see. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, cool. All right, let's see the instructions. So we see here that it's an enclosure. It gives the USB here, so we can get extra USB as well here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it really solid plastic i like the quality of it but let's start with the instructions step one safe shutdown switch default to off we got it here and that switch is here it's off already two and the assembly tools that's here oh it's magnetic too pretty cool love it so let's see we should have six of this like this here grab the board but i think that before i do the board i should be putting the, the heat sinks yeah let's do that okay first things first there we go that goes here perfect so it looks like this one's here and the other one goes here let's see okay go back here so put the usb one the longest one is the usb one perfect, perfect. 
There we go. And here. I get the time here. Positive, negative. Negative being the black cable. Positive will be the red one. We can see it here. Negative, positive. Self-explanatory. Which way should we go? Let's see. It has the arrow that shows you the flow. One eternity later. Huh, this one doesn't have it. Boom. There you go. That's your cartridge. Put it here. Voila. There you go. Life lesson when putting screws, always go from left, top, top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left, top middle, bottom middle, like a sequence. This is done because that's how it will, it will be put in, in a neutral way and won't be, you won't see like anything one side better than the other side or screwing better than the other side. That's how you balance it. The quality is really good. Feels way much better than a real Nintendo. That's so, I'm surprised. Everything comes from China. So good quality for the people who do, who create this. There you go. Here it is. Raspberry Pi 4. With an s Pi. Pretty cool. Super solid. I like the way it weights. Amazing with the cartridge. I love this feature. It's something that I love a lot. Like this. And that's pretty much it, man. Right, so in this case, subscribe, hit a like if you like the video. Anything, any any reviews, anything that you guys would like to us to cover or to show up, show off on our anything that we have done, also with this one as well. Uh, we can show you whatever you guys need. Thank you everybody, and have a good night.